up YouTube, YouTube in the building, man. Teely live in the building. Been a long time. And this is a unplanned food review. Big shout out to JP, Mark, all the gang. So today, we're at Marugame. Curry udon, spicy with rice and cashewa chicken and we're gonna do a food hack right here man we're gonna dip this in the curry and we're gonna get some spices so i've been chatting to a guy on um, twitter about how bad a lot of these japanese food chains are going downhill and I think uh, Maragame, this udon shop is like the best so far um, for uh, say $11, 11 bucks you get a nice hearty meal as you can see that is like a five cost meal right there hands down and you got some rice. Let's dive in. You've got with uh, Japanese curry style with egg. Mm. It's not bad. It's not the best. He said it was spicy, but you know what I'm like. You know what I mean? It's basically udon noodles. Fresh. With uh, egg. Cashew and chicken. Mm. It's not bad, not the best. But Japanese curry tends to be like uh, a little bit smooth, a little bit sweet. Kind of like fish and chip, fish and chip style. You know, like your curry, curry sauce from a British chip shop. Um, but the main attraction is how I've done this. Like food hack. I got the fried chicken soaked in that. Um, put some more chili on there. Whoa! Japanese spice. Mm. The chicken's a bit cold today. I normally like it um, fresh, but we can't have it all. The noodle quality here is like the best. It's just a smooth, consistent taste. And I think for the value, you definitely get every penny's worth or yen's worth. Mm. The rice. Good. No complaints from me. As you can see, this udon is so heavy, you don't really need a lot of rice. Mm. But um, I've had better special meals at Mabagami. For some reason, the curry just tastes a little bit strange. 
So apart from that, guys, the weather right now in Japan. It's really humid. And I feel like really drowsy and, and tired. I need to go to the dentist. My, my teeth are feeling a little bit sensitive. Which I don't like dentists at all. And um, yeah, apart from that, you know, just grind on. I got paid last, no, this week I got paid, Monday. I get paid again on Friday. So my finances, paid all my bills, I paid my wife back. It was a lot of money. Hopefully I can start saving now. And I am planning a trip to Yokohama. One day trip or two day trip. So that's gonna be in the works. Mm. And in terms of content, um, you know, I do finish, like today I finished work early, I can go home kind of look but because when I wake up and get to work in the morning the trains are busy it's hot it's humid I feel tired I only had four lessons today but I just feel so drained so making content or feeling enthusiastic about making content Kind of difficult so i've been a little bit lazy my apologies but i thought i'd do a quick food review right now below the second floor of this shopping mall is kfc and burger king and as i mentioned on many of my videos i keep promising myself to try burger king out the specials so the next one after the cheese ugly is the mexicano avocado but i just can't see myself justifying the cost for something that doesn't look very appealing or worth the money you know Anyway, I've been having some weird ideas recently about thinking, I'm thinking about starting a new channel. And I want everybody's input in the chat. And it will be a kind of a risk for me to do, I don't know. I'm such a big, passionate person about pizza. Pizza is international food. It's served in most countries around the world. So my idea was to create a new YouTube channel. We'll call it Pizza Man in Japan. And just specifically review pizza shops, anything pizza related, you know what I mean? there's a big fat security guard walking towards me and he might tell me to stop filming <clears throat> anyway he's walked off thank god so yeah pizza man in japan <laughs> and i just eat pizzas around japan like any pizza shop any pizza product review all the new pizzas what do you guys think Because it's kind of weird how the algorithm works on YouTube. And I put a lot of, I wouldn't say I put a lot of time, but like some of my content, 
should be getting more views, but it doesn't. You know what I mean? And it's like, well, if I start a new channel, maybe that might get some more people in and have just one content style. So, it's a bit of a risk. What do you guys think? You know, my channel is a variety channel. But to actually grow, I have to focus on one target. And I don't think my channel is getting any growth. And to be honest, I don't think there's anybody doing that kind of just pizzas in Japan content. Do you know what I mean? The next issue is is the actual investment in the channel. Because pizzas in Japan are not cheap. You know what I mean? But you have to spend a bit of time and investment on that, right? So, what do you guys think? Should I just review food only? Should I just do exploration videos? Because I don't have time for, to do toy reviews and model kit reviews anymore. You know what I mean? I'll keep my TMD channel open. But anyway, I don't know. Mm. And yeah, just recently, I just, I'm just feeling really sleepy and tired from work. With making content, you, you need to have a lot of energy. And I haven't released this yet, but I have made some content that's not been up, edited. The problem that I have is that when I leave work, I'm surrounded by a lot of my, my students. So I can't really make content because I don't want to put them in the movie. There are high school kids everywhere. And I tend to prefer doing night stuff, to be fair. I know like filming in the day, you get a better, better image quality. But filming at night, it's more dramatic, right? You get to see like the neon, neo Tokyo. Um, kind of like Japan futuristic Blade Runner style. You know what I mean? Anyway, we shall see. So basically, in Japan, when you nearly finish your bowl, wacky rice. Get your spoon, mix it around. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, man. This this curry is a bit weird. I don't know. The only it taste is it's, it's like it's obviously like a stock cube or like powder meal, but it just tastes really strange. I don't know why. Anyway, we'll leave it on that. Today's review out of five, I give this like maybe a three. And that's been grateful on a three. Peace, TMD.